Hello and welcome back to more LEGO Harry Potter. My name is Zeppelin G993, and in this part, have you ever noticed how crazy little and just horrible looking Tom Riddle is as an orphan? I mean, look at him. He just swipes left and right. He's probably like a little minion, like a not the yellow cute ones, though, like a horrible little grouchy thing, like the hunchback of Voldemort. Oh, it's just, he, he can't even knock this over. He's like, Rah! I will destroy the world, but first I will destroy these mugs and gaps and glasses. But I can't. Because I'm a dark wizard and I have issues and many angry little things. I'm going to pit you instead, you angry old man. I'm going to just do that and, and that. And then this. And you won't die, for God's sake. One day I will kill you with my, with my force. Yeah. In other words, he's very angry. He's very... Yeah, lots of issues. In this part, we're going to be doing level one of Year 7 Part 2, which is the Thief's Downfall. Which is pretty hip and groovy, you know, get to go to Gringotts and get more collectibles, you know. It'll be good. So who should we go for? Well, um, choices, choices, choices. Who would like a trip into Gringotts, do you reckon? I fancy Madame Malkin, seeing as she's, uh, you know, in Diagon Alley, and she's always just wandering around, sort of, fitting up students' robes, I imagine she would like to see the inner workings of Gringotts. You know, just 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 a just a hunch. But there you go. So this loading screen actually now works because we've we've had this pretty much since the whole of the free play mode, but now we actually this is actually the year that it's meant to be. If that makes sense. <sighs> anyway. I just realised she hasn't got any spells. Oh she has got a spell. Oh fantastic. So otherwise that would have been a bit awkward. Now you have to get a hell of a lot of studs in this part, so it's not a bad thing if you miss um, a couple of the things because you will need to um, get as many studs as possible. Obviously you can cheat, that is fine. You can just be really hip and groovy and just... Uh... So you miss that blue thing. That blue thing is very, very good for getting studs. Yeah, you, you can just use your, your um, red bricks if you've got them to increase your stud intake. But at the same time, I just want to be fair and accurate. Oh my god, I'm a, well, you know what? I say that, but <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, we basically, we need 100,000 studs. So a lot, basically. <laughs> so here we are in this area. Oh, she, is she crouched as well? No, she's not. She's just a bit, just look, looks a bit short. Um, so yeah, we need to get a lot, a lot of studs. But first of all, we must destroy these metal things because they're just getting in our way and Ringo's just got enough metal in it anyway. Let's get rid of that. There's several of these dotted around and the cavern here. Well, or, or, or rather just get the dragon to destroy them. That always works wonders as well. And I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Get out of there. It's not worth it. Mine's in her dress looking very fetching. As if as a Bellatrix lookalike, you pull it off quite nicely, right? We need a evil we need someone evil, someone evil. Uh, and yes, Dudley is evil, but oh my good lord Harry! Calm down, Harry. Whoa, a virtual rise. Right, let's go the other way and look and see what we've got. Come on, where's the evil one? Who's my evil one today? Oh, we got this guy. Falling well, this guy. So along comes a Weasley Wizard Weezers, which is just what we need, to be honest, because this, this bang is a bit dark, it's a bit dull. You know, what this bang really needs is a bit of colour, a bit of orange, a bit of purple, and... For fallen in route just to kill himself and throw himself into the dark chasm below. Good lord knows what awaits him down there. Right, come on, one. I know we've got a serious task here as a dragon and the place is on fire, but why not just walk up the wall? First character, Griphook. Which makes sense, really, because we're on a bank. We're on the Goblin's Bank, so... Well, no, it's the People's Bank, but it's run by Goblins, so it's sort of is the Goblin's Bank. You know what I mean. Anyway. More studs for us here. Let's destroy everything here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get the hundred thousand first without, you know, using my red bricks because otherwise that is just being a bit lazy. And I miss most of those anyway, so you know what? Screw it. <laughs> dear, dear, dear. I think Madame Elkins isn't necessarily enjoying her time in the uh, Green Gods Bank. You told me we were going to Canberra Sands for the weekend, and now we're in Green Gods Bank. Yes, that's my impression, Madame Elkins. How would you impersonate her? Comment below. <laughs> right. 
Let's find me own. There we go. That's another one of the characters we're going to get later. Mining Gringotts. And we'll also get um, Bogward, I think his name is, if I remember correctly. That's Gwipuk, and that's Bogward. The other one, the one who's under the Imperius curse. Unlucky devil. Another collectible there. So why would you put a stud there if you're going to get hurt going towards it? I mean, that makes no sense. This is good to get here while we're here. Um, to sort of do it. But you can't get this collectible until the next part. You'll see what I mean when we get to it. Right. Double glasses. Because, you know, and that's just... What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Ooh. Madam Mulkins is busting out some crazy dance moves. Right. Get that later. And now, what we need to do... There it is. That's what, that's what we need to get. I don't know why I just avoided that. What am I like? What am I like? Right. This bad boy in here. Let's get a show on the road. Away we go! And if you miss the reflectables here, don't worry about it because you can just come back and get them when we come back out here later on. So don't worry your little faces. And off we go. Rumbledore back from the dead, having the time of his life in Gringotts, I'm sure. And in we go. Everything's going crazy here. You can you can tell most of the um, collectibles in here, by the way, simply by the fact we've got this wonderful do by the amazing assortment of dark objects in here, which makes sense. It is Beatrix's vault, so. But that thing is is crazy. I mean, it's like I know we're here to get you know the um, the, the cup of Helga Hufflepuff, but you know, let's just take a, some time to play with this dark magic music box. Isn't that just fantastic? And over here, we need this. It's a skull for our enjoyment. Put this over here. And they dance and do their thing. Let's get this for now. Thanks. And they do a little dancing routine, which is all very lovely. Bellatrix has all kinds of things in her thing, doesn't she? All kinds of assortments, all kinds of tricks. It's very nice. Open this up. Put it up there. Da, 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 da. Now that is a bit... Oh dear. <laughs> Those guys, obviously. I've got a feeling I might have missed one of the collectibles out. Because there, there we go. This is uh, this lady. How on earth is she getting there? That's what I want to know. Like, seriously? Because, the thing is, her being in there already, unless Bellatrix has put her down there, in which case, you know, wouldn't surprise me, but it's a bit, like, oh, a bit dodgy. Major dodges. But, um, at the same time, it is a little bit disconcerting that she can get in there already. It sort of puts Harry one of Hermione's efforts to shame, really. They're like, oh yeah, we got in here, finally. And then it's like well, I, I'm already in it actually. I got in here ages ago. I've just been trapped forever. No idea how I'm alive. I'm gonna build this up like a buttercup, and that is this little dance. And hit it again, and you get the third quest pieces. That's one more collectible now for us outside. So I was thinking, did I, did I miss it? But no, it's in the next section. So don't worry, your little head is head is. I don't know. To destroy this here, let's actually get on with the level now, God forbid. What an unlikely collaboration here between a, def a crazy Death Eater and a shop owner. <laughs> but there you go, that's the beauty of free play mode. Uh -huh. Ral's well, probably like, what on earth are we doing in here? Why on earth are we in Bellatrix the Strange's vault? This makes no sense! And he just vanishes into Ron, and one's like, how did I get here? You know. Of course, this is a game, you know, but, you know, but just thinking about 
What would it be like in real life if you could, if, if, if you could just change who you were? Come on. Give it a sneeze. That's what I'm after. I realize now I need to get every to get every stud that I can actually. Getting quite near the end and uh I'm not, not nearly, but you know. Cause once you're on the dragon there's not really any chance for studs, so I haven't got too long. Oh here of course. There is a studs here. So just, you know, good old fashioned destroy everything. Always works well. Thank you very much. Let's see if I can get any more. I can! Fantastic. Skull that keeps on giving. Never heard that before. <laughs> I challenge you to find another YouTube video that says the skull that keeps on giving. It keeps on giving again! Fantastic. And it stops. I should expect. There's only so many he can take. Right. Actually, if I want to do it, he can. Forget that you can. <laughs> Thing is, with one learning it, it's sort of you sort of feel like it's not a special anymore because he just you know learns it like that. It's like yeah, how he talks in his sleep. I've picked it up, you know. Just make some random hissing noises. That's all you got to do, really. Yeah, it sort of makes it a little less impressive. I must get the gold stud. Oh my god, I can't get it. No, no, no. Oh well, that's just ridiculous. Not well. We're in some melee, so. I need cards for key. Got plenty of those. And one can do his thing. Bar's getting bigger and bigger though, really quick. I think the whole aspect, the whole the whole pain aspect is relinquished in this level because otherwise it'd be quite disconcerting if it's walking around if the player just dies every four seconds because of the fact that you're hitting loads of metal things. That'd be painful, wouldn't it? Oh, it'd really hurt. To the top. No, <laughs> sorry. The clip is like, I'm a, I'm, I'm a goblin, I don't have bags. We don't, we don't need the bags for things. Because we don't have things. There we go. The sword is ours. How he gets the cup. And now we're in this section. This little doohickey. Studs here. Oh my good lord, they're doing it everywhere. Now, unless there's like some sort of magic pep on behind here. Oh, we can destroy this, though, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be a little bit short of a hundred thousand. I'm gonna have to resort to the old, the old tactics. But first of all, before we even get to that, let's see here. Get that? No. Well, there's a few there, I suppose. Get back over to here. Hey, a few there as well, I suppose. Oh, good lord! Right now, my I lost them all. <laughs> that really wasn't worth it. Oh my days. Double Hermione. Double trouble. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to resort to the old tactics. But there you go. That's what you gotta do. So this here is the last collectible. Roasting whatever that is, a spit. I'm not entirely sure, but you know, that's what a bank needs, you know. I think banks would certainly, you know, improve their public perception if they held barbecues every every once in a while. Especially in the summer now when it's glorious weather. That'd be perfect really. Spinny, spin, 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 and there we go. Fantastic. That's why I'm money. Just trying to see if I, can, if I can destroy that and get some more points. But alas, I can't. But you know, live and you learn. So now it's a case of finishing the level, really. Obviously, got two minutes to get. But I will do my best to get them. But apart from that, we've got Hermione. We've got Wingots and Bogworld character pieces. We've got the uh, all the press pieces now as well. Everything is Yankee Doodle. Let's 
So we nearly got to it. We nearly got to 100,000. You've got to be so, so, so on the ball with it to get it. But, alas, too late. My time has come. Let's see if I see if that does it. There we go, see? This shoots up. But you know, I tried. I really did try there. It wasn't like I didn't just, you know, I just didn't give it a real good go. Arthur Weasley's just like, why on earth am I, am I here? One minute I was in hiding, and now I'm just destroying things in Gringotts Bank. I mean, what even is my life anymore? question I ask myself daily actually. <laughs> ah, I suppose if I I could have probably destroyed the last few. Right, need one now. Come on one. That's Fred in his pajamas. It's not who I want. It's how he's naked again, blimmin' how he been naked. So many characters to choose from. It's almost too many, isn't it really? And up it goes, right. Oh, no grip hook. Do your thing. See, now I'm conditioned by playing Lego Star Wars. We have to be near your characters to change them. Oh dear. Just can't catch a break. Boom. There it goes. The last one done. Angry Dragon. Right, now it's time to get these guys. Because they're... I don't know how frustrating they are. We actually killed Cross, we actually did kill those guys. That's a bit graphic, isn't it? The thing is though, who is that goblin applauding? Is it applauding us or is it actually just that one there at the end's a nightmare to get, seriously. Oh come on. Long distance, but uh, it worked, just about. Ah, oh, so now that it's going in Mars, I have to go all the way around over to here. Turn around, surprise him. Oh, a uh, Angry voice. Oh, come on. Come out and play, you silly little goblin. I'm not going to kill you. What's there to not like? If it has blows, it's like going around crazy panic. Why don't he come out? It is there, right? It isn't over here. No, it's not. If for some reason he just takes forever to come out, I don't understand. It's going right over here. Suddenly the full of this level is... Oh, it's not, so it's not it's over here. My, my, my bad. Oh, I wondered why. I was like, why is he appearing? There we go. Thank God for that. And we're off. Romeo done. Oh, That's a long level. But we got through it. We've got Grip Hook. We've got Hermione. Bog Rod. Those goblins which we'll rarely use because we've got we've, we've already got a key character, so there you go. And True Wizard with a little help from those old red bricks. Still got plenty of studs, no idea I'm gonna spend all those. Right. So then, in the next part, I will be doing another level of Harry Potter Lego Years 5 to 7. I will be doing level two of Year 7 Part 2. So many numbers. Which I can't I think it's back to school. Yes, yeah, back to school. See you then.